Here we are going to get the Laplace transform of e to the minus a t times any function little f of t in terms of big F of s. But big F of s is defined to be the Laplace transform of little f of t. So we apply the definition of the Laplace transform to what's inside the curly brackets here. That means we have to multiply by e to the minus st and integrate from 0 to infinity with respect to time. So we can combine the two exponential terms to get e to the minus s plus a times t. But then we notice that this integral here is the same as this integral with s replaced with s plus a. So since this thing is called big F of s, we can write this thing as big F of s plus a. So we can summarize all of that by saying that L of e to the minus a t times little f of t is big F of s plus a, where big F of s is L of little f of t. Let's take this example here. We can look up the Laplace transform of t cubed using the table. We see that L of t to the n is n factorial over s to the power of n plus 1. So if n is 3, we see that this becomes 3 factorial over s to the power of 4. 3 factorial is 6. This means that if we want to work out something more complicated, like L of e to the minus 2t times t cubed, we can use the first shift term uh, theorem. So uh, what's in here has the form e to the minus a t times little f of t. So we just compare to this thing up here we can see that a is equal to 2. So here is little f of t. L of little f of t is called big F of s. So here's our function of s. So the new function that we're interested in has the form e to the minus a t times little f of t. And a is 2 as I've said already. So we know that the answer is going to be big F of s plus a. So we take this expression here and plug s plus 2 in for s. So we get 6 over s plus 2 to the power of 4. So we can use the first shift theorem if we know what L of little f of t is. Um, and we have a new function which is got by multiplying e to the minus a t by our f of t. So we need to have a function whose Laplace transform we know or we can get from a table. And uh, if it's multiplied by an exponential term, e to the a constant times t, then we can apply the first shift theorem. So here's the first shift theorem, and uh, applying it to this function here, we can see that minus a equals plus 2, so a equals minus 2. We can see that little f of t is cos 3t times u of t. Now if we look that up in tables, we will get s over s squared plus a constant squared, where the constant squared is 3 squared. So here we have cos of 80. Now this a is not the same as the a in the exponential power, of course. Um, in this case, a is 3, so we get s over s squared plus 3 squared. So this here is our big F of s. We want big F of s plus a where a is minus 2. So we need to replace s in this with s minus 2. And that's what's done here. Now we are going to get the inverse Laplace transform of 3 over s squared minus 2s minus 8. And this will use a result from a previous example. And we will also be using the first shift theorem. Now here is the result that we're going to use. Uh, the Laplace transform of the hyperbolic sine of 3 of t times u of t is 3 over s squared minus 9. We did this example in a previous video. Anyway, you can see the similarity between this expression here and this one over here. Um, what we need to do is complete the square of this denominator. To do that, we take half the coefficient of s. So we take half of minus 2 which is minus 1. We write s minus 1 squared. So that if we square this out, we get s squared minus 2s, we get back the s term, but we get plus 1 here. Now we want to end up with minus 8. So to ensure we get minus 8, we have to put minus 9 here, because minus 9 plus 1 is minus 8. Now notice that f of s here is the same as this 
with s replaced by s minus 1. If we plug s minus 1 in for s here, we get this here. We can use the first shift theorem because s has been shifted by an amount minus 1. Now, I will change the notation a bit. This, of course, in the problem is referred to f of s. Um, but I will call this thing here f of s in order to use the first shift theorem. So, as I said already, this is the same as this when we replace s with s minus 1. So, if this here is f of s, then this here must be f of s minus 1. Here is the statement of the first shift theorem. Now, let's try and get the notation right here. Uh, little f of t is what's inside the brackets here. What is a? Well, if we compare s plus a to s minus 1, we can see that a equals minus 1. So let's uh, write this down now with um, the values from our problem. So we're going to get e to the minus a. Well, that's minus minus 1. That's plus 1 times t times little f of t. Well, that's what we have here. Hyperbolic sine of 3t times u of t. That equals f of s plus a. That's s minus 1. But that's what we have here. So I can write it like this, or I can write it like this. I'll go back to writing it like this up here. That's the original form that f of s had before we completed the square. So the Laplace transform of this function here gives us this. That means that this function here must be the inverse Laplace transform of 3 over s squared minus 2s minus 8. So we can write it like this, L inverse of this here. 